Okay guys, this is going to be possibly the easiest project I'm ever going to show you. Uh, there are only three separate parts to it and you can get away with just using one of the parts, which I'll explain in a second. First thing I will say, when you're cutting it, uh, you'll notice a little circle that cuts out as well. That's only there to, to keep the image in position so you can cut it on a 12 by 12 sheet. Uh, if you take that away, it, it mucks it all about and I've managed to get it sized perfectly to fit so it cuts on a 12 by 12 sheet, uh, which is quite good. Uh, so just ignore that. So I can get rid of that bit there. Obviously I'll use the scraps for something else. Um, but your pieces, uh, you've got your main box piece uh, and then two what I call the ribbon pieces. One being slightly shorter than the, than the other uh, and I'll explain that when it comes to sticking these on. Whatever way around I decide to do it, I'm not sure yet. Uh, okay, so the box itself, uh, I, what, I what I would recommend doing is cutting it face down. So that's the side that I want to see, so I've cut it that way around. And that way the score lines are on the inside and I think you get a better fold that way. Um, now you'll notice there's score lines where you would expect to see them on a box, but there's also this little squares in here. Uh, and I'll explain what we're going to do uh, with them. That's what forms the indent corner in the box. I don't know if that's the best name for it. It's the only name I could come up with. Not my original idea, I will admit. Uh, I saw something on Pinterest probably and thought, oh, let's create that in design space. Uh, I've now made hundreds of them. Maybe not hundreds, but a dozen at least. But what you'll find will make it easier uh, is if you just go over your score lines again and I tend to use the weeding tool fairly gently, just enough to sort of increase the score. And this will become clear why I do this in just a second. So just kind of make sure it's lined up. <clears throat> you can go around all. Oh, I haven't gone far enough on that one, look. That's because I started talking at the same time, typical. If you're using the maker uh, with the scoring wheel, they will fold fairly easily. Uh, I tend, I always find with the Air, or the Air 2, and the scoring stylus, you didn't get quite such a good fold, uh, good score line. Uh, and I ended up either having to go over it again, or doing what I'm doing just now, which is just a bit of a pain. But the scoring wheel, you get a much, much cleaner score. Okay, and then it's just a case of, ignore the square just now, but you want to be folding over all the other folds. Uh, and you just want them to be well creased. And just remember and do every single one. Because I always forget one of them, and it's usually an important one, and I only discover it after I've started gluing the box together. So I'll just work my way around. But you can see that I haven't re-scored the other lines and they're folding really easily and nice and cleanly. Um, don't worry too much about the cardboard tearing on the outer corner, uh, the outer edge I should say, because you'll possibly be inking it anyway. Uh, I like to ink these boxes, I think it just makes it look a bit nicer. Uh, and you can use, of course, any ink you want. I mean, I've, I've done some where I've used sort of silver and gold, ink, gold, gold inks because of Christmas boxes. But again, they don't have to be Christmas boxes, they can be any boxes. I've done some actually just for decoration. Um, Size-wise, obviously you can see roughly what the size of the box is going to be. Uh, you're not going to be able to make that any bigger on a 12 by 12 sheet unless you start joining bits together, which I did try and do and actually it just it doesn't work. Um, but in theory, I suppose if you used like a three size card, you can maybe do the, a base and then attach bits onto it. I don't know. Um, I think this is probably the biggest you'd want to do. Um, but anyway, next bit, this is the more complicated bit. So if you sit your box face down, if you like, uh, sorry, face up, so the outside looking at you, and you're going to go round and fold the, the two squares uh, on this edge here. Um, if you've got your box face down, if face up, uh, looking at you, you're, you're doing a, what you call a mountain fold on the outer square. And it's just a case of going round and carefully, gently folding that over. It will go, uh, and you'll probably see, or hopefully see that, you know, that it's just going. The cardboard will sort of buckle a little bit, 
um, but don't worry too much about it, it'll flatten out again. This one's the most awkward one because it's right in the middle, but it will go. You can kind of see it going by itself already, but you just want to make sure it's folded right to the edge. So just use your fingernail and push down the corner there. This is the easiest one because you've only got one edge to worry about. And again, just use your fingernail to push it in there. I'm trying to do this quite slowly, um, even though I'm possibly not. And again, last one there. So you start with your outer, uh, outer circle, my goodness, your outer square. Um, so that's that folded in. And then the next one folds the opposite way. So if you're looking down there, it folds as a valley fold, if that makes sense. Um, and again, because you've done an extra score, it will go by itself. Let me turn it this way around. But as you're doing this, you'll see the other ones, the other folds kind of starting to go by themselves as well. It just takes a wee second. And eventually it will just fold. This one's been a little awkward, but we'll get there. You'll see the other sort of edges starting to fold in themselves as you do it. Can you see that form in there? I'm not sure if you can. <clears throat> but then when you start to fold this over, it'll, as we're going to do just now, so if you start to fold it over, try not to force it, but it will go. You'll then start to see the folds taking shape. Like I say, it is an easy project, but it's just this little bit's a little awkward, but worth it. I mean, really worth it once you see it finished. Now, if you can see this here, now that I've done the folds, as I fold that over, that's the corner that you end up with, which I think is really cool. So I'm just going to go around and just make sure everything is folded properly. This one's slightly annoying me, so let's just push that down. So when you're pushing down, sort of creasing the folds, um, just be careful you're not creasing any other bit of the box. Okay, now we're going to want to start gluing this together. So just hold it in place just so you've got an idea of where everything needs to be. And what you're aiming to do is this bit will line up. So that edge there will line up with what's underneath there. And this edge will line up with that edge. And that's the bits that we're going to be gluing. So essentially we're gluing, if I mark it with a pen actually, that bit, that bit, and then this flap here. That's the bits we're going to be gluing. If you can see that. I'll just leave you looking at that just for a second in case anyone's following me uh, right now and doing it at the same time. So I'm just going to pop some glue on. I'm using high tack glue and I'm just going to use my finger because I kind of want this over the whole edge just so it's properly stuck without this glue coming out around the edge, around the side. And then I'm going to glue this bit here. Not too much. When you're gluing it, it's the, the sort of the edges that are the important bit to make sure there's enough glue. Okay, right, now I need to clean the glue off my finger so I don't get glue all over the front of the box, which I've done before, trust me. Okay, and it's then now a case of gluing this together. So, to do that, now hot glue will not work for this because you won't have enough time. Um, but just basically get all this lined up as best you can. You will have a bit of play with it. And it will go. Trust me, it will go. So as you can see, I've got this edge lined up now. And if, 
if that edge lines up, the rest will line up. If it doesn't line up, then it won't. And just pull, I'm just sort of pulling these edges together. That's fine. And then on the inside, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, I'm just going to press this down with a ruler just to make sure that's stuck. And what you also want to do is in this here, then the triangle bit on the inside, if you can see that, is just push this edge right on underneath. You'll see what I mean when you come to do your own one. I've let this sit for too long now, of course, because I'm talking at the same time, which means my glue has started to grab because I'm using quick grabbing glue, but it's fine. You'll get the idea. When you're doing your own, you'll be doing it that quicker. You can, if you want, just glue this bits first and then do this next bit here, um, which might be an idea if it's the first time you're doing one. And I'm just going to make sure my edges. So there we are. You can see the, the box starting to form now. It's then a case of gluing the rest of the edges, which won't take long, and then we'll see the finished result. I'm just going to press this down again. For anyone thinking it might be easy doing these tutorial videos, it's really not, because you have to try and show what you're doing on the camera, and you have to try and do it slowly, um, and talk at the same time, and try and make it interesting, uh, and it's not easy. Okay. Right, I think we're all right there. So uh, with the box itself, you've got uh, a, a, one of the flaps has got a slot in it. That's where the the opening bit tucks into to keep it closed, uh, which is this bit here. So we're not going to be gluing any of these flaps here. Uh, we're only going to be gluing this two flaps and this flap here. That's all we're going to be gluing. So I'm just going to glue them all at the same time, which will just make it a little bit easier. So if you just remember that when you're gluing the flaps on, you've only got three fl other flaps to glue once you've done that corner. And just make sure it's not the one that's the, the lid, if you like, which ends up being underneath actually. It's not really a lid. It's a base that opens. Um, now see, because I'm talking, I'm forgetting which one I'm meant to be doing. This one. And this is the last one. And I wouldn't say I'm using the glue overly sparingly either. Um, possibly the more glue the better. And then just start to offer these up. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. We'll get this one lined up, and what we're going to do is just open this flap up. I'm just going to press this one down, yep, and it's moved. Just open the flaps up fully, just so we can get in about and see what's happening inside. So we're just going to make sure these are all stuck down. So this is where a ruler comes in very handy. Just applies pressure to the the joins. overly impressed with that join there I'll be honest that's because I'm trying to do this quickly and slowly at the same time which is a very strange way of doing things <coughs> press down the corners it'll be absolutely fine though I don't need to worry um, once that's stuck that's the box kind of done so you've got your two flaps here and then the lid with a flap that just tucks in to that slot there keeps it closed that's that box done <clears throat> now, as I said, you've got two other strips, and I hadn't decided what way I'm going to do them, but I think I might go with the tartan. So you've got two strips, one shorter than the other. They have got a score line in them. Uh, so I'm just going to fold the scores, if I can find them. Just 
slightly annoying that I can't on this one. I think that's it there. Okay, so the one I've got in my hand here is the one that's slightly shorter. So this one goes um, on this side where the, the slot is, so it fits there, if you can see that there. But it will come right down the front of this one. So again, just a drop of glue. You don't need much for this bit, to be honest, depending on what glue you're using. Just enough to make sure it holds. One glue come out. I'll just make sure I'm doing this the right way around. So you just pop this on in the corner somewhere. Just make sure it's straight. This will also help hold the box together, of course, if your joins aren't just perfect. Press that down as best I can without pressing too hard and bursting the box open. It's even straightened up slightly there. And I think we're good to go there. And then the next one, and again we'll just find the crease lines. It's difficult to see in tartan paper. There's one. Just let that fold over. Again, with this one, it's better if you decide before you cut it what colour you want to be using. Um, I'm just going to do it this way. That'll do us there. So that works well because this one's more green and this one's more red, so it just gives a bit of variety. So we'll glue this one on as well. It's a spot of the glue. Doesn't need much at all. Put my lid on the glue so it doesn't dry out. And we'll just stick this on, make, again making sure it's lined up. Uh, so you want to be forming a, that to be a almost perfect square, I suppose. Get that in place. There we are. Now I just noticed that I've gone and made this one slightly too long, so I'm just going to trim that. It does cut perfectly. I have tested this a thousand times at least. Let's move it slightly. And that's it. So if you can see that there, that's what I'm calling an indented corner box. Um, it can be used as a gift box quite easily. Obviously it opens on the bottom. Um, and it's actually quite sturdy, believe it or not. Because of that corner, I think, it just kind of makes it sturdy, providing you glue it properly, of course. Um, and then if you want to ink edges, of course you can. Um, I've done some with inked edges. Uh, I'll just show you. So here's some other ones that I've done. Uh, red one, and I just went round this one with silver, actually. Um, this one hasn't had its edges inked, but just a different variation on the theme really. Uh, as you can see I've done quite a few. Look at them, that one's had inked edges as has that one. Uh, and I think they're just absolutely brilliant. Uh, they would work really well if you used them together in whatever way you wanted. Um, if you wanted to have a few gifts, small gifts. And they just, I just think they're very interesting. Um, have fun making them. Uh, of course, as always, any questions do please ask uh, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching guys.